Hey everybody, this is Paul. This is lesson number 12 in the series of logarithm tutorials. And in this lesson I'm going to show you how you can take an expression like this and condense it down into a much simpler form. So in order to do this I'm going to be using some properties of logarithms that I've explained in my other um, tutorials, the earlier tutorials that I've made. And these are basically the three properties that I'm going to use in order to condense that original statement. So we can reference this as I go along, or you might want to pause the video and write these down yourself for reference. But anyway, this is what I'm going to use to make this happen. So we'll be looking at this in a second again. But basically, the first thing we want to do is we want to take we want to take note of all of these base numbers here. And we have two that are base four and three that are base five. So in order to condense this, we want to organize this so that the base fours are next to each other and the base fives are next to each other. So let's go ahead and do that first. So we're gonna do six log base four of x, and then we're gonna take the other base four and add it, plus seven log base four of x. And then we're gonna put all the log base fives next to each other. So starting with this guy, log base five of z minus that one, 2 log base 5 of x minus 2 log base 5 of y. So it's the exact same stuff as the line above. I just organized the base 4s together and the base 5s together because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ones with the base 4 and condense them down into one single logarithm of base 4 and all the ones with base 5 I will condense down into one logarithm of base 5. So the first thing we want to look at is we want to look at the third property I wrote down here. So if you have some number multiplied by log base n of b, that's equal to log base n of b raised to that number. Okay, so you're essentially taking the number out front and putting it in the place of the exponent inside of the argument. So let's look back at this right here. So here we can do that with the 6. So this is going to become log base 4 of x to the 6. And we can do the same thing with this guy right here. So this becomes log base 4 of x to the 7, moving these coefficients into the positions of the exponents inside the arguments. So we have plus log base 5 of z above here, and minus all this stuff. But before we distribute these Exp these uh, coefficients into the exponents, what I'd like to do is I'd like to rewrite this a little bit. And I'm just going to do minus 2 log base 5 of x plus 2 log base 5 of y. And this is exactly the same thing as what is above because if we use the distributive property, this becomes a negative distributed into this term, so this becomes negative 2 log base 5 of x, which is what we have here, and then you distribute the negative into the second term, giving us negative times this, so a negative 2 log 5 of y. So essentially, by using the distributive property, we get this result back. So these two sections are identical here. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and like work back down to the next line here. So now we're going to look at the first property I wrote down here. So it basically says log base n of a plus log base n of b is equal to log of the base n of a times b. So we're going to use that property for this next step here. So this would be our a, that would be our b, the 4 would be our n, our base. So we're simply going to combine these two terms into one term of log base 4 and that would be a times b inside here, so our a is x to the sixth, and our b is x to the seventh. So this becomes log base four of x to the sixth times x to the seventh, and then we're just gonna add the next term, log base five of z, we're not gonna do anything with that guy yet. And now we're gonna work inside these brackets here, and we're gonna use this third property again, we're going to take the number out front and move it into the position of the exponent. So now we have log base 5 of x squared 
by moving that 2 into the exponent position. And we're going to add that to log base 5 of y squared, doing the same thing, moving the 2 into the exponent. OK, now we can go ahead and go to the third line. Now, anytime we have some base raised to a power multiplied by the same base to another power, that's the same thing as writing the base once and adding the powers in the exponent. So then we're going to write this next term here, log base 5 of z. And that's going to be minus everything in the brackets here. But with these brackets here, we can go back and look at this little formula sheet here. And we see this property once again. Log base n of a plus log base n of b equals log base n of a times b. So using that property, this will be our a, this will be our b. So this becomes log base 5 of a times b. Our a is x squared times b. Our b is y squared. So by using that property, the first one right here, I was able to just like squish these into one term. So this becomes log base 5 of x squared times y squared. So now we're going to look at this term right here. 6 plus 7 is 13, so this guy is done now. Log base 4 of x to the 13 plus log base 5 of z minus this whole stuff. These brackets aren't necessary anymore. So minus log base 5 of that. So actually, let me go ahead and erase this. We're going to just look at these two terms. Now we have both log base 5s here. And we're going to look at the third, no, actually the second property on my paper here. Log base n of a minus log base n of b is equal to log base n of a divided by b. So using that property, the z will be our a, and the x squared y squared will be our b. So we can simply rewrite this by using the property I showed you on the other paper as log base 5 of z divided by x squared times y squared. And so that's our solution. So this right here is the exact same thing as what we started with in black up top here. So this entire line, we were able to use these three properties right here to condense this entire line into this, these two terms right here. It's the exact same statement to say log base 4 of x to the 13 plus log base 5 of z divided by x squared y squared. That is exactly the same as everything that is written in this line up top. So hopefully that helps you guys uh, get a better feel for logarithms and how to simplify them. So let me know uh, what you guys think about this and uh, Hopefully it made a lot of sense, and if you'd like me to cover anything else on logarithms, just let me know. I think I might stop the logarithm tutorial series here, but uh, if you guys want some other lessons, some more examples of this, uh, just go ahead and let me know, and I can do a few more examples. But uh, anyway, I think I might move on to another topic. Maybe I'll do a playlist on intermediate algebra, something in between high school and college level. So let me let, just let me know what you guys think about that. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Have a great day and don't forget to subscribe.